let me uh, let me kind of lead into a conclusion now. We need jobs in this state. We need mobility. We need to move away from petroleum-based and carbon-based energy. We have a legislature that is heavily, I don't want to be partisan here, except that the issue has become partisan in California because of the, uh, the uh, attacks on high-speed rail by the uh, conservatives, uh, newly elected conservatives. But we have a democratic legislature. We have a democratic governor. Those folks are elected by labor. Labor needs these jobs. You folks that represent labor and the construction industry need to let those legislators know that this is a fish or cut bait issue. If you vote for this, we love you forever and we're going to have a healthy state because we're going to have a lot of jobs and a lot of taxes being paid by the people receiving that $7 billion worth of state and federal money for that first construction project. If you don't vote for it, we don't want you anymore. And it's got to be that clear. And you've got to be that direct. Now, there is, a, there is some suggestion by some of the legislators that they want to delay the approval of the bond sales until after the budget cycle. If that occurs, Secretary LaHood has no choice but to take the federal funding back. It isn't his decision anymore. The stimulus bill says it will be taken back if you miss the deadlines for contracting. So they cannot delay this action beyond the budget cycle and they need to approve $2.7 billion in Prop 1A bond sales. And you need, I'm telling them, you need to tell our friends in the legislature that that has to happen. And this isn't a one we can get well from. This isn't one where we can go out and have coffee later, kiss and make up, and, and work together on the next campaign. This is one of those issues where if it doesn't happen, then by golly, we need new leaders in the state of California.